एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम जशन और आज हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं आर देनी प्रीरिक्विजिट्स टू परस्यू एम और एम एस इन वेल यानी कि हमें किन किन कॉन्सेप्ट को या फिर सब्जेक्ट्स को लर्न करने की जरूरत है सो दैट इट कैन बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर अस इन द फ्यूचर प्रैक्टिकम एंड कोर्स वर्क ऑफ एम टेक सो दैट वी कैन हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द होल कोर्स वर्क ऑफ एम और एम एट प्रेजेंट वीले इज अ टॉप मोस्ट चॉइस फॉर ऑल द इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ग्रेड्स क्योंकि इट टोटली रिलेट्स टू द टेक्नोलॉजी एज यू आर लुकिंग इंडिया इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द फाइव ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी एंड सेमीग्रेट इंडस्ट्री का इसमें बहुत बड़ा योगदान रहने वाला है If we talk about 5G, 6G, it also needs hardware or relay science engineer. Today's era is of cloud computing, mobile internet, IoT, machine learning. In सब technologies में relay science engineers का बहुत बड़ा contribution है और एक बहुत ही अलग level पर जा रहा है which we can't even imagine. It's just like boom in this sector. Apple, Google, Qualcomm, Intel और काफी सारी top tech companies are looking for skilled and decent relay science engineers. और इसीलिए ये सब companies इस industry में बहुत ही अच्छा package offer कर रही है This is the only reason बी टेक डब्ल्यू ई सी स्टूडेंट्स आर ज्वाइनिंग एम टेक वीलेसाई और एम एस वीलेसाई कोर्सेज ऑल ओवर इंडिया लेकिन वीलेसाई ज्वाइन करने से पहले देर आर सम प्री रिक्विजिट्स विच आई वुड डेफिनेटली रिकमेंड विच यू कैन फॉलो सो दैट यू कैन हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ यूर होल कोर्स वर्क ऑफ एम टेक और एम एस वीलेसाई एंड इट्स लाइक चैरी ऑन टॉप सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट मी स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन तो मास्टर्स इन वीलेसाई में मेजर सब्जेक्ट्स रहते हैं एनालॉग आई सी डिजाइन डिजिटल आई सी डिजाइन विच आर कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स विच वी लर्न ड्यूरिंग आर बेटेक डेज बट स्टिल देर आर सम कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम दीज टू सब्जेक्ट्स विच कैन बी लर्न Because uh, these are going to be helpful in your uh, VLSI coursework. Other major subjects are microelectronics devices, VLSI technology, and embedded systems design. Apart from your coursework, you have your practicum work. Uh, basically, these are the labs, and you have to do lab work. And it will be having a good number of credits in your total credits. So CGPA को better करने के लिए lab work का भी बहुत बड़ा contribution रहेगा. But अभी हमें VLSI curriculum पर focus नहीं करना because right now we are looking for the prerequisites which are going to be helpful in the future. So on the first note, I would recommend to have maths on your tips. Engineering mathematics from B.Tech curriculum would be uh, enough for this. Basic concepts like integration, differentiation, matrix multiplication, uh, logarithmic graphs, exponential graphs. etc all of these things would be a great advantage to you matrix multiplication is really helpful in the digital image processing and uh, it can be used in the mtech project work uh, which you can follow so before joining the college you have a plenty of time which can be utilized for this so go through the basic mathematics first uh, and uh, then there are subjects called analog electronics and digital electronics these should also be followed really well though digital and analog ic designs are completely cmos based or you can say mosfet based but it is highly recommended to follow the analog and digital electronics which you must have studied in your beta curriculum in digital you can go through the k maps adders subtractors mux dmux code encoders decoders and uh, latches flip flops srjk flip flops and uh, gray codes etc et similarly in analog electronics you can go through opams adc dac and uh, some of the concepts from the network theory like uh, two port networks rc rlc networks and uh, transit circuits from the rc rlc and some of the concepts from the control theory like uh, uh, body plots compensation techniques etc I think this will be enough from the analog digital part and uh, some of the concepts from the control theory and uh, network theory. Then moving forward, you must have to have some concepts from the computer architectures as well. See, maximum number of students join M Tech to get uh, to get the job as early as possible and with quite good package. Uh, I'm not just uh, generalizing it because some of the students might join M Tech or MS to get uh, research work in the future, but. Uh, In maximum number of cases, students join M Tech uh, to get the job. So VLSI has different job domains like verification engineer, validation engineers, PD engineer, etc. So all of these requires computer architectures. When we talk about concepts of how a data flows from device to device or peripheral to device, concepts of floating numbers, concepts of uh, protocols. So all of these are the basics of computer architectures, which can definitely be considered as a prerequisite for our M Tech or MS VLSI. As I have already told, today's technologies like machine learning, algos, AI, IoT. So all of these are using arithmetic operations and floating numbers are the basic building blocks of these operations along with that when we talk about data transfer protocols are the basic blocks of these uh, data transfer techniques and uh, you must have heard about arm technologies and uh, arm based protocols are used in iPhones and Snapdragon processor of Qualcomm and uh, that's why having concept from computer architecture will be a great deal and uh, that's why i have recommended to have a knowledge about computer architectures now if we move forward you see microcontrollers has no name these days but uh, metaphorically if i say uh, these are the atoms of a vlsi chip a microcontroller contains cpu along with the memory and uh, input output peripherals microcontrollers are designed for embedded applications and uh, automatically controlled products such as medical devices automobile engines etc so having a brief knowledge about microcontrollers would be 
really beneficial to the student and you can keep it as an important part of your basics. So we have seen various concepts which should be followed before joining masters in VLSI. Now coming to the programming languages, there are some of the programming languages which can be learned. Software engineers have their coding languages which they use to design various software applications uh, just like mobile apps or web portals etc. And uh, similarly VLSI engineers course to design hardware. That's why they are called as hardware engineers. So Verilog is the core VLSI programming language and it can easily be learned if you have some exposure of C language. So prerequisite for programming languages would be C and C++. Classes are used to design test benches for design verification. So test bench construction is an important aspect for hardware designer. So having knowledge about C, C++ is an really advantage for us. For your knowledge, UVM methodology also comprises test benches. So it's really good if you have hands-on exposure of C, C++ language. So with all of these basic concepts, we can easily grab whole coursework of MTech or MS VLSI. But remember, if you don't do prerequisites, it doesn't mean that you won't be able to digest the whole coursework of uh, VLSI or you can't pursue your masters before having these prerequisites. But it is to make yourself easy to get into the field and you can easily uh, grab the coursework of VLSI. And it is also recommended to have prerequisites uh, because you can have the grab on the enhanced concepts during your mtech so having prerequisites isn't that bad you can utilize your whole of the free time and uh, you have you might have uh, two three months before joining the coursework so you can have your time utilized by watching out uh, these concepts so before commencement of the classes you can definitely go through these concepts which i have just told at last but not least keep yourself motivated to learn and grow in the life while enjoying it any doubts regarding job opportunities and vlsi coursework i am always open to hear you through comments or emails or insta handle so thank you very much for being with me throughout this video thank you very much